Although coronavirus is technically classified as a respiratory illness, experts believe symptoms arising in the skin may also point to signs of the disease. We'll show you this. Uh, hard to look at, but it's skin rashes and what some are doctors are calling COVID toes. Purple, swollen toes that look like they've been frostbitten. So is there a link between dermatological problems and the virus? Well, here to discuss this is board-certified dermatologist and medical doctor, uh, Azeda De Shirazi. Doctor, good to see you this morning. Uh, doctor, can you explain some of these skin symptoms we're seeing here, specifically on COVID-19 patients? Right, so a lot of the skin findings we're seeing may have to do with the blood flow issues that we're seeing with some of the COVID patients. As you may have heard, that we uh, some of the COVID patients get blood clotting issues, and they've been reported, um, you know, with strokes and, and uh, circulation reduced to the kidneys. Well, we're seeing that now in the skin as well with the COVID toes. And what happens is you get clotting in the distal extremities, so fingers and toes, and because the blood flow is reduced, the skin is compromised of oxygen. And that's why we're seeing the blisters and we're seeing the um, purple discoloration on the toes. We're also seeing almost like a lace-like pattern of a rash on the thighs, which again points to is there a clotting issue that we're seeing with some of the COVID patients. And so we're really looking at that closely right, right now, collecting data, looking at a large number of patients and seeing if this is also manifesting in the skin, not just the internal organs. Doctor, we have a lot of concerned viewers. I know that you know this watching at home and a lot of them are, are, are looking for some kind of sign or symptom of if I have coronavirus. Now we show them a picture of, of COVID toes. We're talking about rashes at home. Is this something that viewers should be looking out for on their bodies? Is this something that we saw in the study that they, they start to show when they get into the hospital or is it both? You know, um, it, it's a difficult time because we're all looking at everything through coronavirus goggles on. And so it's easy to, you know, try to associate a lot of symptoms that may not be due to coronavirus at all. And just because we're in this time, you may associate the symptoms with that. But no, not necessarily. We see these blue purple discoloration in people who are otherwise very healthy and don't have corona. A lot of these patients that have been reported to have these COVID toes will test negative for the coronavirus. So this is also seen in other dermatologic diseases such as uh, lupus perneo, um, where people get these purplish discolorations. And so this is something usually we see in patients that are very sick have clotting issues elsewhere as well, and they may be hospitalized. So I think we have to be very careful in jumping to conclusions and, and looking at everything that ha that's happened to us through these coronavirus goggles, because it's not necessarily the case. Uh, 30 seconds with you, doctor. One, in the study from Newsweek that I'm reading, one of them had chicken pox-like showings on them, uh, chicken pox-like blisters. You know, the skin is very immunogenic, meaning that there's a lot of white blood cells that are constantly circulating in and out of the skin to protect us. And so a lot of times they may show rashes or presentations that may signify underlying skin, underlying internal disease. So that can sometimes be a non-specific finding. We are seeing chickenpox like reaction and measles like reactions as well. So we are continuing to monitor these patients and collecting data as we speak right now. All right, it's important to get all the information we can. There is new information, some that we're, we're, we're able to show here on this uh, program. Good to see you, Dr. Azadeh Shirazi, board-certified dermatologist and medical doctor. Thank you for coming on. Stay safe.